Have you ever wondered how to give your chicks the best start in life? Look no further because we have the answer. Moringa extract. In this comprehensive guide, I will walk you through the remarkable benefits of using Moringa extract for your chicks. From treating sicky chicks to promoting faster growth and overall well-being. Chicks are delicate creatures that require special attention, especially during the early stages of their life. Because when chicks become sicky or experience slow growth, this is going to hinder productivity and development of the chicks. So, we have two cases here that we are dealing with. You have sicky chicks and slow growth chicks. And when farmers experience this, they are going to waste a lot of time and they're going to use a lot of resources to try and solve these two problems. But worry not, because Moringa has all the benefits that it contains that is going to solve these problems. So Moringa nutritional properties, you know, help solve this problem effectively. Moringa is a super food which is rich in vitamins, minerals and antioxidant. These components contained in Moringa are very important because we are going to discuss how they are going to solve sicky cheeks and slow growth. Before we dive into more information, kindly subscribe and like this video and comment below where you are watching from and let me know if you have any question, put it in the, in the comment below, I'll be eager, very good to answer you very fast. So let's get back. Sicky cheeks. So, Moringa contains important anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties which help prevent and treat certain diseases, especially respiratory diseases which affect the, the respiratory system whereby the trachea, the lungs, yeah, and again is going to reduce chances of diarrhea. And in some research it has shown that Moringa extract treated or was used to treat coccidiosis and it was very effective so that's all about how moringa can help elevate more about sick chicks so what about stroke growth in stroke growth moringa contains important and amino acids and plant hormones which help in boosting the growth of your chicks and this will help the chicks get to the desired weight in the expected time especially for broiler birds which are expected to reach the market in five weeks so what moringa does is going to enhance the bone density so this will help the muscles will find somewhere to attach to and then the muscles will grow you know this will promote the moringa components promote muscle growth and overall body development and this is going to put money in the pocket of farmers this is how you're going to prepare moringa into moringa extract so you're going to find a moringa tree and then you obtain the leaves then you're going to clean and dry the leaves here you're going to clean water so that you can remove all the dust on top of the moringa leaves and then you're going to sun dry under a shade remember under a shade not directly to the sun under a shade or you can use a dehydrator and then after the moringa dries moringa drift dries you're going to grind into fine powder using a blender again again now you're going to store the powder in airtight containers so now from there now is where you now you'll be making the extract either you'll be feeding the powder directly to the birds using through the feeds so now we are going to discuss the dosages that you can offer to your birds and I'm going to discuss in three types for broilers, layers and other birds such as local birds. So for broilers it was shown that it can help to improve the growth performance, enhance field conversion efficiency and it had antibacterial and antioxidant properties. So that to get this, these results for improved growth performance this is increase in weight gain. Uh, this research showed that inclusion of 0 0.6, 0 0.9 and 1.2 and 1.5 percent in the broader diet had a positive effect on the intestinal health and the growth performance of broilers and this was carried out in 2017. So if you're going to add in 1 kg of feed you're going to do the calculations. So and then you're going to know how much you're going to add depending on what 
depending on the results that you want to see. So for example, for your chicks, you can start the chicks with this the first week, and then you can be increasing per week. It, yeah, that's the case for boilers. The first week, second week, third week, fourth week, and then you get the recommended, and then you'll get the desired results, which is improved good performance. On feed conventional efficiency, it was the moringa was given as as an extract in drinking water and that was 90 ml per liter and, th and this was shown to improve the feed conversion efficiency for broilers and, and again the research was done on, on antibacterial and antioxidant properties and moringa was shown as a potential product that can work against pathogens such as the e coli and salmonella and for you know these are one of the major pathogens that affect or bring diseases to your broiler birds so in terms of rares it was shown to improve the egg production and quality and reduce egg cholesterol content for the, for the increasing for the one to increase the egg production and quality inclusion of moringa leaf powder at levels of 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 percent and 2.0 percent improved the egg performance and egg quality in low in Norman chickens. So you can use this for your laying buds, and you are going to get the desired result, which is improved egg production. And you can use these inclusion levels. For example, if you're introducing this to your buds, you can start with 0 0.5 and then continue increasing it per week, per week, per week up to this level while you see all when you, and as you record the results so that you can see if it is working for your buds and in terms of reduced egg cholesterol content an inclusion of moringa refiner powder of not more than five percent was shown to reduce the egg cholesterol content so this egg reduced egg cholesterol content is for consumers who don't who are not inclined to eating products with more cholesterol so you should not include more than five percent and you're going to get less cholesterol in the egg so in terms of other birds which are these are the local birds it was shown that moringa refella can be a good alternative protein source for these local birds and again it was shown also to improve the growth rate of local birds when moringa refella is added by 60 grams per one kg of feed yeah, it was shown to improve the growth performance of these slow growing buds. I hope now you have an idea of what to do. Yeah, these are the dosages that you're going to use. And if you have any question, don't forget to ask me in the comments below. Have you ever wondered where you can get all the natural products in one book? We created an, a book, an ebook, whereby you can download it straight into your files. So this ebook has several benefits. You're going to get a comprehensive guide of a wide range of natural products or additives for your chicks or chickens or, or layers, broilers, indigenous chicken. These organic products are going to enhance the immunity of your birds. So you're going to treat some diseases. You're going to enhance the immunity. Again, you're going to improve the production performance. That is, you're going to get bigger eggs in your layers all your local birds and then you're going to get gain you know again your birds are going to gain weight more faster that is your broilers and also local birds and also you're going to save a lot of money because you're not going to spend money on buying some drugs you know because some of these natural products are very good in treating diseases also the book is in a practical way it is step by step so get the ebook through the link in the comments all in the description of this video.